All right, y'all. That water is cold. It's chilly out here today. That's the reason I'm in rain gear. Today it ain't rain gear, it's uh, splash gear. So uh, I was just trying to stay dry, but I wanted to bring out the Tupelo 12.5. Uh, we just picked it up the other day, ran up to Jackson, actually loaded it in the snow. Uh, but I wanted to come back and show it to you. Now we've had a Tupelo in the past. And it's been uh, many, many years since we've had one. Um, but Angie and I are trying to build up our fleet this year. And there are some people that absolutely are terrified of being on a sit, sit on top. I, they, they just think, oh, I'm going to fall out of it or something's going to get me. And they really, really like a sit inside. Now, for us, we, we've learned that would have probably been Angie early on, honestly. She only wanted to be on a sit inside. Uh, but then later on, after she got on the boats, got used to them, paddled more, she really got to where she loves her Liska, she loves the bite. Uh, so for us, we transitioned away from having a, a sit inside other than the Kilroy and that's kind of, you know, eh, I don't know if I'd always agree with that with being a sit inside. It's more like a canoe than a sit inside. But, uh, but this type of a boat is really good for somebody that's uncomfortable around the water uh, uh, or, or if they're uncomfortable being on the sit on top. Uh, it's it's a super incredible paddling boat. I mean unbelievably fast and easy and it has a glide It's, it's kind of like when you were a kid, you know and making paper airplanes and and uh, And you got the folds just right and the crease is just right and you pitch that one and it just went and went and went That's what this does. I mean when you it takes no effort to get to speed and, and when you're paddling it, when you stop, it just goes and goes and goes. And when it comes to the Tupelo, I would feel comfortable putting beginner paddlers. I'm talking little kids, you know, that this thing is so incredibly forgiving and stable, leaning way, way out, even with a big old dude. Uh, I had zero issues with stability and you could tell, I mean, you get to the point where like, all right, if I go any further, it's going over. Um, and, and I was way over the side before I hit that. So I would feel, you know, ultra confident putting a kid in here. Uh, anybody with limited strength, you know, that, that, that just can't paddle a big sit on top. This thing is a dream. I mean, literally it almost travels forward just, just on a whim and no effort. Now, of course my paddle's a 250. It's, it's a little too long for this one. Uh, but, but that's all I have because I have fishing boats. I don't I don't swap out paddles. I, I do one thing. I'm a one trick pony. But uh, this boat has definitely got a lot of great features on it for people that either, you know, want to get on a paddle and, and they're experienced paddlers uh, that recognize a glide and how to lean into a turn and things like that. Or just a rash beginner where it's like this is a boat, point it that way and go. Um, I, I, that's kind of why we wanted, because we paddle with a lot of people that are, this is a boat, goes that way. That's, we have a lot of folks like that that we paddle with. So we wanted to add one of these to our fleet. Um, there is room up underneath the deck if you needed to put gear. Uh, it's got a, a styrofoam wedge here in the middle for flotation and separation, but there's, there's room up here underneath both sides. Uh, it's got uh, deck rigging if you wanted to put a, a pump or anything up top or, or, or any other gear. It's got the metal track fore and aft, so if you wanted to put rod holders on here, you know, you could definitely do it. Now, we caught fish out of the Tupelo in the, in the past, the one we had in the past, and I no, have no doubt that I could do it in this one, too. Um, the one thing about it, which, and I'll show you that here in the back. It's got a little room behind the seat, so if you wanted to put your, your dry bag or something like that in the back, and it's got the stern hatch, which is cavernous, and there's a lot of room in there. Um, one thing that I would tell you is if you're going to put any gear in a bag here, here, up front, make sure it's a dry bag. Uh, I don't care what manufacturer you're dealing with. If you put gear in a boat, either due to condensation, splashing, something, it's going to get wet. So if you care for your gear, no matter where you store it in a boat, put it in a dry bag. Take that from Uncle Farrell, okay? Alright, now we're down to the sticky part of the reviews. Uh-oh, Uncle Farrell has something that he doesn't like. <laughs> Not actually. The old Tupelo had a frame seat, which you guys know that I love a frame seat. I like being able to take them out, use them as a camp chair. Uh, I just like them for the comfort and when I came up and when I actually pulled the plastic off the new Tupelo, I had not realized that the seats had changed. Uh, let me tilt this up and show it to you. Now you see it's got a seat pan and it's got the frame style back. 
and I thought, oh my gosh, what has happened? This is going to be horrible. And then I sat in it in the yard and I thought, oh my gosh, what has happened? This is horrible. And uh, Angie and I both had the discussion. It's like, I don't, I don't like that. I can't believe that that happened. Um, and and I, I really was, I was torn. Because it's like, no, I don't like this a bit. Let me tell you, I brought it to the day and, I, and I, I wanted to get it on the water because one, I'm not going to review something that I don't test. And I'm not going to complain about something that I don't test. And I want you guys to hear it from me, you know, because uh, I, I hope you think that I tell the truth. Because by golly, that's all I got is, is character and integrity. And if I throw it away for a piece of plastic, I'm not worth what you're watching me on. I can promise you that. But this seat, when I sat in on the hard ground, it was like, ooh, that, no, I don't like that a bit. Hard ground. I decided to bring it out today and put it on the water. I wanted to see what it felt like. Now, you guys know I've lost, I don't know, 70 some odd pounds uh, in the last couple years. So I don't have as much cushion back there. So sitting on the hard ground, it was definitely not what I wanted to be sitting on. But when you put it on the water, that shape, and I'll, I'll bring over the camera and show it to you here shortly, but that shape, it form fit me very well. Uh, so I paddled it for a while today without any cushion in here. And, and actually I asked the guys on the team, I'm like, what are people doing? Before I ever put it on the water, I said, what are people doing with this seat? And uh, they recommended the Sweet Cheeks, which is something that the whitewater cattle, uh, kayakers use. Because, you know, they're, they don't have frame seats in the whitewater boats. So they use a thing called Sweet Cheeks that Jackson has. Now I already had a product. Actually, this is Angie's. Um, and this is the Kayak Cushion. And Kayak Cushion, uh, they make these in a, 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 a standard and a firm. And Angie's got the standard. I've got the firm on my boat, so I run it on, on it. But I, I, I paddled it for a while without the cushion, and I was fine. It was, it was, I could paddle, I, I could stay in it for, for, you know, for a day if I wanted to. I had no issues. But adding the cushion just raised the comfort level. So my recommendation would be, yeah, man, the Tupelo is definitely going to stay in the fleet. It's a good boat, incredibly easy to paddle, super fast, super, just, just a, 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 a light boat, throw on your shoulder. I, I can put anybody in it. It's that boat. So I like it for that. I would add be personally a cushion to it for me and that's this one here is angie's you know and it if we we, we trail we, we trade them from boat to boat to boat and that's just what we do with them but uh so it doesn't match and uh she's gonna panic but I'll, I'll get her one to match one of these days but it definitely made a difference in the comfort factor so that's the only change that i saw in the boat that that, that i wanted to bring to you guys um, was that. I didn't want somebody ordering one and going, oh, what, you know, what happened? This isn't like it used to be. Well, you're right, it's not like it used to be. But it is a darn good sitting seat, as is. And with the cushion, it really, it made a huge difference. So, anyway, that's my review. Any questions, y'all take it easy. Holler at me, please. Let me know if I can help. Y'all have a good one.